Hello everyone, I'm Divya Madan and I'm going to present our work, Heterogeneous Container Learning. This is joint work with Hongshu, Wanmin, Jan, and Pablo. Heterogeneous Container Learning is a framework that learns on a sequence of tasks while also adapting state-of-the-art deep learning advances into the container learning setup. We focus on the data-free container learning setting where we assume that we don't have the access to the prior task data. To tackle this challenge, we propose two methods inspired from knowledge distillation and deep inversion and show evaluation with methods that use buffer and without buffer on standard container learning benchmarks. We show that, show that a prior, uh, proposed method, uh, quick deep inversion, can interpolate between the current task, say bird in this case, to car in the prior case, generating examples in between both the tasks. To motivate further, there have been many recent advances in deep learning, and we often want to deploy the state-of-the-art architectures in practice. This is essential for uh, the customer experience and also to maintain the competitive edge. To give you an example, uh, let's consider three scenarios. In one ideal case, we are training the ResNet architecture for two tasks container learning. Ideally, we don't have access to the in innovations or architectures that would be proposed in future, but we consider this as an upper bound. In the second case, we use LeanIt, which is a weaker model used for two task setup. In the third case, we use our uh, heterogeneous pipeline where we use LeanIt for the first task and ResNet for the second task. Y axis denotes the accuracy and the X axis denotes the number of steps during training. We see that LeanIt not only impacts the current task accuracy, but also the future task accuracy. In contrast, our method can not only match the upper bound of ResNet, uh, but sometimes also achieves better performance uh, than using ResNet for both the tasks. Uh, to explain container learning, let's consider a, a setup where we have the container learner learning on task D1. But now when task two arrives, we copy the weights which have been learned for task one and continue learning on the second task. But the goal here is to also preserve the information for the prior task. This process continues as we obtain more and more tasks. But the limitation of the existing methods is that we assume that we only have a fixed representation structure for all the tasks. This thing is very restrictive in practice. Therefore, we adopt, we relax this assumption and adopt something flexible. Let's consider the setup of heterogeneous container learning. Where for the first task, we assume an MLP. For the second task, we introduce the convolution layers. That is, we introduce the LeanNet architecture. For task three, let's say we use ResNet. And for task four, we are using transformers. So this adaptation is very likely possible in practice because we often want to keep the state-of-the-art architecture in practice or in deployment. But the challenging part about this setting is that we do not have uh, access to the prior data. And also due to the differences in architecture, we cannot transfer the initialization or the knowledge from the previous architecture directly. Thus to solve this problem, we propose a knowledge transfer module. This is inspired from knowledge distillation, but there are two main differences. In knowledge distillation, the goal is to transfer the knowledge from a stronger teacher to a weaker model. But in this case, we do the opposite because we have an old model, which is a weaker model, and we want to transfer it to a stronger model, say ResNet. Also, in this case, we do not assume access to the data from the prior task. We adopt various techniques from the literature from knowledge distillations. For example, we use consistency in one of uh, as one of the techniques where we make sure that the student and teacher sees the same set of examples for knowledge distillation. We incorporate label smoothing and also we incorporate data augmentation for knowledge distillation. Further, we propose quick deep inversion, which is an updated version for deep inversion. The goal of quick deep inversion is to generate synthetic examples using the current task examples and then use those synthetic examples for knowledge transfer. To do this, we initialize the synthetic examples from the current task and then interpolate it such that the generated examples are 
you can be used to transfer the knowledge from the prior tasks. Thus, it acts as a feature transfer module to improve the knowledge distillation component. Let's look at the experimental results now. We evaluate on three popular data sets, which is CIFAR 10, CIFAR 100, and Tiny ImageNet. For our HCL setup for CIFAR 10, we consider five tasks with a different architecture for each task. For CIFAR 100, we consider 20 tasks with five classes, uh, but we use nine architectures in this case. For Tiny ImageNet, we use 10 tasks with each task containing 20 classes, and we use five architectures where we use a, a single architecture for two tasks. Please refer to the paper for more details about the architectures and how they are split for different data sets. We evaluate on two popular metrics, accuracy and forgetting, where accuracy is the average accuracy of tasks completed until the container learning of task tau in this case. And forgetting is the average performance decrease of each task between the maximum accuracy and the accuracy at the completion of training. Let's look at the results now. So if we first compare knowledge distillation and knowledge distillation with QDI, which are two methods that do not use the prior task information with fine tuning and deep inversion. We see that both the methods obtain much better performance than prior tasks, uh, prior methods that do not use buffer. Similarly, we show the comparison with methods that use buffer. So for example, we show a comparison with the AGM, e ER, and DER++. And to have a fair comparison, we also include a buffer with our method. And we can see that our method can obtain much better performance than all these methods um, for this setup. Uh, these results are with task incremental learning. We also provide results with class incremental uh, learning along with uh, the forgetting in the main paper. We also show a visualization of the generated examples. We can say that uh, in this case, for example, uh, we interpolate between the current task, say a bird, to the prior task, which is a car, we see that deep inversion mostly contains the features from the prior task, which is a car, because in this case, the initialization is done uh, to a normal distribution. But our method QDI actually contains the features from both the classes. So for example, in the figure, we can see that it contains the examples from both a car and a bird. In conclusion, we propose heterogeneous container learning setup in this work, where the goal of the lifelong learner is to learn on a sequence of tasks while also adopting deep learning, uh, state-of-the-art deep learning methods and techniques. We revisit knowledge distillation and propose a modified uh, paradigm inspired by the recent advances in knowledge distillation. We also propose quick deep inversion, which helps you generate synthetic examples using current task instances to enhance the performance in the data-free CL setup. And lastly, we believe that our paper can be an essential part to a training container learning uh, architectures that can be adaptive uh, in the state of the art architecture regime and also to adapt in the current uh, sequential data. Uh, our code will be available at the following link.